Half of an average Los Angeles home's water use is for outdoor irrigation. If you take out the grass and incorporate rain gardens and other landscape features, it not only reduces water for irrigation, but also reduces runoff and increases groundwater recharge. Over 80% of the water is imported through an aqueduct system. The California Aqueduct, the Colorado River Aqueduct, and the Los Angeles Aqueduct, which uses gravity alone to move water. With California experiencing one of the worst droughts in history, it's imperative to reduce water usage as much as possible. Rainwater is free and can be used to offset some of the shortages that we see here. However, due to people's antiquated relationship with stormwater resources, we streamline water to the ocean, which transports unwanted pollutants to our beaches like trash and oil grease. Many municipalities are now offering programs aimed at changing people's relationship with stormwater resources. The City of Culver City, in partnership with the Bay Foundation, have designed a rainwater harvesting program. Its intent is to help homeowners learn to capture rainwater for beneficial use and reduce the amount of rainwater flowing from their roofs and into the storm drain system. So what is a rain garden? A rain garden is a shallow depression that captures rainwater and allows it to soak into the ground. Plants help to filter harmful pollutants in the rainwater as it moves through the soil layer. In addition, it is most often planted with native species, creating a natural ecosystem on properties where birds, butterflies, and beneficial insects thrive. They also capture sediments carried by rainwater, preventing them from clogging the storm drains. In order to harvest your own rainwater, you'll need to assess your site. By preparing a sketch, it'll help you determine downspouts to disconnect, as well as slope for redirection of water. Next, you'll want to dig up any existing grass and plants. You can set aside any native plants that can be used in the garden. For most landscapes, it is beneficial to mix compost into the existing soil. Amending your soils with organic compost will enrich your soil by introducing nutrients to promote robust plant growth. It could also be purchased at most garden supply stores. Also, bear in mind that the City of Los Angeles offers free compost at the Griffith Park Composting Facility. Now you'll need to dig the rain garden 18 inches deep. You can frame the rain garden with side slopes about 20%. In order to minimize the risk of erosion, Consider lighting the side slopes with stones, mulch, or other plant vegetation. Keep in mind, there are options for helping to get your rainwater harvesting project off the ground. For example, the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power is offering a rebate up to $375 per square foot to remove irrigated turf. If you live in the Los Angeles area, check out LADWP.com to see if you qualify. Now that we've prepared the site, you can start the fun part of planning your rain garden. You can enjoy the benefits of protecting our bays and oceans, as well as practicing good water conservation techniques. To find out more, visit the following.